<clears throat> Welcome to today's video fix. We're at Terminal 4 and today's the day we set up from Manila and go to Chagao. We're just getting our luggage from the back of this grab. I've brought three pieces of luggage, sorry. Thank you, Paul. Salamat. Right, we were just discussing earlier how I think this is the first of a time we've ever been to Terminal 4. Mabu, what, 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 what is that? On the camera, hello, Mabu, hi. How are you? Mapogi, thank you, thank you. Oh, boarding pass? Ticket. Ticket. Yeah. Dude, this airport is so quiet, but I must say, the staff here are so friendly. It's like, Wait, we don't even have to go there. They're like so happy to see, I don't know, for a bunch of foreigners? Yeah, that guy was. Both of them, like the guy, the security guard, and another person there. T4 is pretty chill. Although it might not be the most modern looking airport, it's a, it's a pretty friendly airport. What? El Nido Resorts? It has its own check-in, that's kind of crazy. I wonder if you fly directly. Exclusive to guests of Pangloasan, Lagan, and Manila. Dude, maybe it's a private jet. And the filming policy here is so lenient in comparison to uh, T2 or T3. Is it T3 that we always fly out of? I can't remember. <laughs> What's the big one that has a good McDonald's? I think it's T3, right? Yeah, it is T3. But I'm trying to look for something somewhere to eat, but I don't think there's much. They got Krispy Kreme on the right here. Oh, WH Smith from the UK. And a coffee experience there. Let's see what we can get from WH Smith. We can get some Maltesers, some snacks. Some more chocolate. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we just passed through uh, security control. And you know what? I think I've actually been to Terminal 4. I can't remember why, but I think I flew out of Terminal 4 to Cebu, which is not the usual. That's when I went from Bangkok to Manila, Manila to Cebu. That was like my second season in the Philippines. Season? Yeah, man. <laughs> is it season 4 now? I don't know what season this is. Yes, I remember. I remember this. I remember the tables on the side. But the last time I was here, there were hundreds of people just sitting around. I think that's because the planes were delayed on that particular day. I'm outside Vin Vin's Cafe, and I think before I had a sure power from here, but I'm gonna get some Shao Mai, which is underneath here with some rice. Yes. Shao Mai rice, How much is the Shao Mai, man? Four piece, 150. Okay, airport prices, I see. Uh, I'll get maybe eight. Okay. And then some rice as well. Is that chicken chow mein or uh, some pork, pork chow mein? Okay, are they ready? Yeah. Mm. And rice, sir. No. Yes, rice, please. Plain rice is 30 pesos. Yes. That's understandable. In BGC, five piece of chow mein is 20 pesos. In Pitova, here it's like 700% increase, 750. Yeah, Seattle's best coffee too. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Seattle's they have best Papa John's. I guess I'm gonna order a full pizza. Anything else, sir? Anything else? No, the W. Oh, can I get a Coke? Oh, shall I get a C2? Mmm. Milo. Again. The noise a little bit. All right, time to try the best show my in Metro Manila here at T4 Airport. 150 pesos for four pieces. Um, let's take a look at them. I'm not gonna lie, they don't look the best, do they? Huh? What do you reckon? They look pretty damp, especially in the middle. Let's see. Okay, I think we're ready for our first bite of the Shao Mai. Oh my God. Dipped it in soy sauce. There we are. They're not even hot. They have a ton of spices. I don't know if that spice is coming from the soy that they gave me. But I don't think these have even been cooked long enough. They kind of feel a little raw. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend getting food from here unless you have to, unless you have no other option. If you have time to eat outside the airport, do so before you come here. Bro, you want to have a taste of the best You want to taste the best Shao Mai in Metro Manila? <laughs> Go on, bro. What's inside of it though? Is it fish? Uh, I haven't used a spoon. Yeah, I'm gonna dip it in some soy sauce. But what, what, what? Uh, uh, tell me what you think. You've tasted Shao Mai before, right? Of or, course. Or you're well, not really. What meat is it? A uh, pork. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what you think about that delicious Shao Mai, my G. 
No, no, honest, honest. Too much soy sauce, but... It's pretty terrible, right? <laughs> huh? I wasn't sure. This is oh. not the best at all. It's horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. I feel like I'm gonna get food poisoning. You feel like you're gonna get food poisoning? Mm -hmm. It's not even cooked, right? Damn, Justin's proceeded to spit it out. <coughs> Shall I take Why it? Why are you making me put that in my mouth? Because I, I suffered, so I thought you'd suffer as well. <coughs> That's horrible. Right, as we're not going to be landing in Shergao until 3 p.m., I need to get something to eat. And so I'm trying out Seattle's best coffee panini because the Shaomai was a, a little disappointing. <coughs> and I've gone with the bacon and cheese for 2.55. It's gonna take seven minutes to prepare. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, the bakery looks pretty good as well. Oh, over here. Okay, my panini is finished. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna put into my mouth is from Sian Coffee, the panini. And actually, this is hot. Let's see if the panini from Seattle is something I will recommend. Oh. Okay. Alright. It's kind of cold as well, bro. Like, it feels warm on the outside, but the inside is pretty cold. This, this came out of the fridge, obviously. So, my recommendation would be get food outside the airport and not in the airport, if you can. And next group to board on Sako Flight DG639 bound for Shargao are online check-in guests holding their individual digital boarding pass and saved on the mobile phone. Oh, oh dear, watch out. Shargao. Shargao. That's it. Woo. Yeah, it's Shargao, baby. Hello, Paul. Hey, this is the bus for Shargao. How's it going? Oh, Yo. don't tell me we're taking one of these propeller, propeller planes. I hear Can you imagine being on that for two and a half hours? Oh, dude. No, I think we are. We're about to find out. Oh, no. <laughs> It's going to be an adventure, Justin. All right, it looks like we're going to begin on this very tiny plane. On Cebu Pacific. It's not even a jet engine, it's one of these uh, propeller engines. Oh my goodness. Wow. The blades are on the outside and there's only how many? Six of them. What are they supposed to be on the inside? Yeah. The blades? Yeah. On a jet engine? Oh, on a jet. Okay, I yeah. the propeller. Yeah, bro. Oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. Oh, bro, this has got to be one of the most narrowest planes I've ever been on. Dude, this is crazy. Both of our heads touched the uh, top of the fuselage. Oh, my lord. And they're playing BTS. These planes, see? They don't even look like seats, they look like stretches. Look at them. This is incredible. It does not help to be six foot three on a plane like this. Uh, what are you laughing? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Surprising, yeah, no, no, the seats are coming. Dude, I am dying here. Bad Something's day. digging into my ass. It's not really. What you gotta do is scoot huh? forward a bit. You can't <laughs> sit straight up. You gotta sort of round the back, you know? Compromise your spine. Because Fargo has a smaller uh, runway, that's why we're only seeing smaller. Smaller runway. Three times the size. Are you serious? I'm serious. 
serious, dude. In the middle of the ocean. You know, all of the land um, in front of Mall of Asia, that was all land reclamation in the 80s. Oh, it's not real land. It's not real land. Alright, folks, we're on our final descent to Shargao. It's taken us about two and a half hours to get here. I've moved one seat forwards from where I was sitting with Justin, and the flight's been not too bad. It's been quite comfortable. Especially when you have a spare seat on the side and you're sitting on the aisle. Anyway, we've got about 10 minutes until we land. I'll update you once we do. that was? Garbage. Garbage fee. What garbage are we referring to here? Yeah, yeah. We are the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even call it a terminal fee. If I call, if they called it a terminal fee, I'd understand, but they called it a garbage <laughs> fee. That was kind of hilarious. We don't want your trash here. Yo, let's go. Shrugal Domestic Airport. There we are. All right, where's our SUV? Dude, Justine. Justine Dennis? No, that's not you. Justine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that us? Yeah. Yo, this is what we should have rented, bro. Dude, this is what we should have rented. This is what I was driving in Panay. This was dope. Oh man, I miss it. I miss the Navarro. Thank you, bro. How long do you reckon it's going to take us to get to our destination? 20 minutes? It's a 20 minute drive. Okay. Hey, we've got the door unlocked. Okay, I'm taking the NMAX. That looks, that looks dope as hell. What do you mean you already reserved? I organized it, you said you want the car. Shut up, man. You got the car, yeah. Yo, we got the car as well? Yes. Oh, this is the place. Yeah. 